posted October 24, 2017 191,546 Chinese President Xi Jinping has just been formally approved as the country's most powerful leader in decades. On the final day of the 19th Party Congress Xi Jinping's status has been elevated to Mao Zedong level. His thoughts have been enshrined in the Communist Party constitution. Mr. Xi is the only leader, other than Mao, to have this title bestowed while in office. It only took a few minutes for the 2,300 party delegates, at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing, to approve Mr. Xi's vision for China, socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era, as it is titled. Then the moment everyone had been waiting for, the delegates voted unanimously to enshrine Xi Jinping's thoughts into the party constitution. Mr. Xi has pledged to make China prosperous and powerful again, to resume its rightful place as a global power. At the opening of the Congress Mr. Xi laid out his thoughts, or vision, in a three-and-a-half hour speech. He outlined two grand objectives from 20,200,000 China will become a fully modern economy and society and then by 2050 China will assume a great power status. Put simply it is about making China great again, but the party with Mr. Xi on top is the absolute guiding and controlling force in this pursuit. Professor Joseph Cheng from City University of Hong Kong said it is Mr. Tsai's final step to absolute power. He wants to be great. He can now claim his authority by people seeing him to be the equivalent to that of Mao Zedong, the founding father, he said. But Professor Cheng warns with great power can come great risk. At the same time, his ambition will have certain weakness. People point out why should the top leader in China have at least eight to nine leadership positions in very important policy areas. Mao obviously did not have to have that, he said. She is in charge of economy, which is supposed to be the domain of the prime minister. He has to be in charge of everything. When his power expands too much, other interest groups, other interests, other factions, other retired leaders, they feel frightened. They may get up against him. Many people are worried Chinese historian and critic Zhang Life and fears the dark days of Mao could return. He said Mr. Xi had already led the largest crackdown on dissent and biggest purge of the Communist Party since the Cultural Revolution, and he says there is more to come. Many people are worried because they have been through the times of Mao Zedong, and they saw the results when the power was over-concentrated. Therefore, people are worried that Mr. Xi has more power, he said. It looks like the ideology is going back to Mao Zedong time. The control on the ideology, freedom of speech and human rights is getting stricter and stronger. Mr. Zhang is one of a handful of critics left in China. Most have fled overseas or have been jailed. He said Mr. Tsai's vision is one that people have never had a say in. I am worried whether this concentrated power will lead to dictatorship. We have to make a choice between a more corrupt regime of the past or the new dictatorship. It is a hard choice, he said. Whether we will have better options, we have to see what will happen in the future. The collective leadership style of the past two presidents Jiang Zemin and Hu Jintao has now been abandoned. In 2016, Mr. Xi won official recognition as the party's core leader and supreme commander of the National Armed Forces, placing him on a level with Mao Zedong and Deng Xiaoping. Now with his thoughts put into the constitution Mr. Xi is on a par with Mao. Even Deng Xiaoping did not get this title bestowed upon him. Instead the party constitution was amended to include Deng Xiaoping theory not the greater thought and only after his death. By contrast, Jiang Zemin and Hu Jintao's main theories, the three represents and scientific outlook on development, do not bear their names. On Wednesday the party will announce its new standing committee, the top decision-making body in China. It is expected to include seven members picked by Mr. Xi. Topics World Politics, China